What do you think is my favorite glucose monitor? I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 1997, and every year my insurance company decides what insulin and what glucose meter they want to cover. And this means I've tried quite a few meters over the years, and some have been better than others. Having tried so many meters over the years, give me a unique insight into how well does a lot of these commonly sold meters actually work. So I figured I'd do a review of six glucose meters that I have used over the past couple of years. There are a lot of other meters on the market, but these are the ones I've used a lot and that I can review. I decided to focus on four categories. Accuracy, the most important I think, the size and how easy it is to use, access and price, and then finally additional features. And of course, I'll show you which one I think came out on top. Okay, so let's start with the most important part, the accuracy. So of course I can't do a clinical study of these meters or even a controlled study, but what I can do is that I can test them all out and I can show you how they perform. So let's do some finger sticks. So I did five finger sticks, right after each other using different fingers but as you can see here i'm trying to apply the blood to all of the meters almost at the same time and as you can see they're actually very similar and they're very similar to my cgm reading as well my dexcom cgm is continuous glucose monitor but again these blood sugar readings are not exactly the same and each meter is not even given the same results over and over so that was kind of fun, although my fingers are a bit sore. So the result from this little test is actually very much in line from my experience using the meters on a day-to-day -day basis. I do find them to be fairly accurate, but I definitely see different results from finger stick to finger stick. Meaning that if I do three finger sticks in a row, it rarely will return the same reading three times. Again, this wasn't a controlled study, but I figured you might find it interesting to see the results written up. So based on my little experiment here, the Levonco and the Contour Next meter had the least variance, meaning it's the least variation between the five readings. And then I had the Contour meter being closest to my CGM, while the Tempo meter was the least consistent. I do want to point out though, that even for the Tempo meter, where we had the most variance, the difference between the high and the low reading is only 10 milligrams per deciliter. So we're talking about very small differences here, but differences nonetheless. So you might have noticed that I only included five of the six meters in this little test. The Dario meter is missing. This is a really interesting meter and I'll show you how it works a little later on because it is very different from any of the other meters. The reason why I ended up taking it out of the little test is that I used to use this a lot, but I haven't used it in quite a while. So the test strips had gone bad. If your test strips have expired, you might get faulty readings. And as you could see here, it was way off the ballpark. So I decided to not include it in this little test, but since I think it's such a cool meter, I did want to include it in the overall review. And I used to find the accuracy really good. So one thing is my little experiment here. However, what would be nice is if someone would do a control study comparing all the available meters. Someone kind of did, but it's been a while. That comparison was done in 2018, and unfortunately, most of the meters I have weren't included, but some were. And of the 18 meters that they tested, only six of those meters lived up to the FTA accuracy definition. So before we dig into the results of that study, we should talk about what does accuracy actually mean? Because accuracy to you and me might be, hey, a meter should be 100% accurate every time, but unfortunately, that's not the reality. According to the FDA, a meter is considered accurate, or let's say accurate enough, if the readings fall within 15% of lab values 95% of the time, and within 20% of these values 99% of the time. Then we have the ISO, the International Organization for Standardization, and they recommend that the analytical error for glucometer should be within plus minus 15 milligrams per deciliter when lab values are uh, over 100, and then they accept an error within 15% for lab Lab values below or equal to 100 milligrams per deciliter. So to high level summarize this, overall a meter is considered accurate if it's within 15 to 20 percent of the lab value. This guidance can seem a little frustrating, especially if you're managing a blood sugar using insulin like I do. I will for example give a different dose for blood sugar 140 versus blood sugar 160. So let's jump back to that 2018 study. Of the meters I have tried, Contour Next and another version of the AccuCheck meter both come out on top. 
I'd say that's very much in line with my experience. They both give very solid readings. And I gotta say, I'm really happy to see the Rely On Meter so high up on that list, as it's a fairly reasonably priced meter from Walmart. That was a lot about accuracy, but I really think it's the most important feature before we start talking about the size of the meters and how easy they are to use, the price and accessibility, and other features. So the winner for me when it comes to accuracy is the Contour Next 1 meter, based on my own experience and supported by that 2018 study. Okay, moving on. So accuracy is super important, but what I also think is really important is the size of the meter and how easy it is to use. And this is especially important to me because I bring my meter with me whenever I leave my home. A size comparison is fairly straightforward. True Metric Go is the smallest and the lightest, and the Livongo meter is the biggest and the heaviest. Plus, the size of the Livongo strips is a little crazy to me. That's a first battle win for the True Metric Go, if you want a small portable meter. I prefer a smaller meter, but a smaller meter might be an issue for you if you have a hard time seeing or a hard time holding onto those smaller strips. Other aspects I think are important are blood drop size, test time, and test range. Quite frankly, they're very similar. I do think the Livongo test time is misleading, as it also takes a few seconds to get ready once the test strips is in the meter. I mean, a difference of half a microliter might sound like a lot, but in reality, I don't think it is. They all have similar test ranges being 20 to 600 milligrams per deciliter, except for the tempo meter that only goes down to 40. That is super weird to me. I mean, I hardly have blood sugars that are that low, but when I do, I would like a number and not for it to say low. And what does make a big difference for me is how easy are these meters to use. And here, I really think that the Contour Next, as well as the Accutech meters, come out on top. If you've ever used a meter before, you'll know how to use these, except for the Dario meter. That probably needs a little bit of explanation. Dario is different. It's the only meter that connects directly with your phone. You cannot use it without your phone. That also means that if you change phone, for example, you get a phone with a different jack, you do need to get a new meter. Let me show you. This Dario meter goes with my old phone. My new phone has a different jack, so I don't use this meter anymore. But there was a time where I thought this was really cool, and I really liked having everything together in one device. I think the winner of this category is the True Metrics Go. Everything is just smaller with this meter, and that's something I really value. And if we include size and test time, I'd say that the Contour X1, as well as the AccuCheck meter, are right behind, but not quite there. Moving on to the access and the price category, because a meter can be great, it can be super accurate, it can be tiny, beautiful, dipped in gold, whatever, but if it's really hard to get a hold of, or if the strips are excessively expensive, then who cares? Whatever my insurance decides, plays a huge role for me. For the last two years, they wanted me to use the Livonco meter. For me, this is not a practical meter from a size and weight perspective. So that's why I went out and I bought the little True Metrics Go meter. So I used these two meters together. This one I had at home and this one I brought with me. Since we won't all have the same insurance, let's just focus on those meters that you get over the counter and all of these you can actually get on Amazon. Only two meters, I haven't been able to find, and that would be the Tempo meter as well as the Livonco meter. Unfortunately, these prices aren't 100% straightforward to compare. Some companies offer free meter coupons, so for example, you can go to the AccuCheck website, you can get a coupon for a free meter. The Tempo meter does have a monthly subscription that includes insulin and strips, but you can't get that over the counter. You do have to have a prescription for that. So as you see, it's not quite apples to apples. But going back to those over-the-counter prices, the True Metric Go is a really strong meter. Yes, the Contour Next might perform better on the accuracy, but is the price difference really worth it? Can you afford it? So over-the-counter, no insurance involved, the True Metric Go strip price is 31 cents, whereas the Contour Next price, $1.45 per strip. I'll continue to use my insurance preferred meter, but in cases such as with the Lovongo meter, where I find that that meter is just not practical for me. I'll use a secondary meter as well and for that secondary meter I'm fairly price sensitive. If you are as well I would check out the True Metric Go meter. You can also check out the Rely On meter. I haven't tried it but as you might remember it did really well in the 2018 accuracy test. The final category is additional features. So this is if connection to your diabetes devices, apps, or coaching is important to you. When you do a lot of finger sticks I think it's really important 
that there is either a good app or a website where you can upload your blood sugar number so that you can do analysis and you can share with your medical team. And the really cool part is that all of these glucometers have an app and they're all free. So which one you prefer will depend on a few things. Some of them are very basic, but some of them offer a lot of support. They offer diabetes information. Some of them have recipes. Some of them even have coaching options. And then there's a question of connectivity to other diabetes devices. So for example, if you have a Medtronic insulin pump, you might want to choose a Contour Next or Accucheck meter as these connect with your pump. Whereas if you have a Tempo Smart button, well, you might want to go with the Tempo meter or the Accucheck meter. So what I would do is simply look up, if you have any other diabetes devices, look up which meters connect with your device. After reviewing all of the devices and platforms that these six meters connect with, it seems to me that the AccuCheck is the one that connects with the most. And I really like the My Sugar app that comes with the AccuCheck meter. So that's a winner for me. But the Dario meter is also very cool when it comes to bonus features. The app is very detailed and it offers a lot of information. You don't have to get a subscription, but they do offer some different subscription memberships. And you can not only get your test strips directly sent to you, but you can also get coaching with either health coaches or with certified diabetes care and education specialists. So it's kind of like having a medical team in your pocket. Another meter that also offers coaching is the Livongo meter. They even have this functionality that if you measure a low blood sugar, they will call you and check up on you. I found that feature really annoying. So I turned that off, but I realized some people might find that really reassuring. I started this video out by asking you, what do you think is my favorite meter? Do you know by now? I think it's a hard one. If money was no object, the Contour Next meter would definitely be my first choice. However, money is an object. Uh, I can't just afford throwing away $1.45 for strips. So taking all the other things in considerations, both accuracy, size of the meter, the price, and just how easy it is to use, my favorite meter, it's gotta be the True Metrics Go meter. And since my insurance has decided that AccuCheck is the meter for me this year and I actually have pretty good coverage, I'll be using my AccuCheck meter alongside with our True Metric Go. There's only one way of knowing what your blood sugar is, and that's by doing a finger stick or by using a CGM. If you're considering a CGM or considering upgrading your current CGM, check out this review or this review where I go over my last two years using the Dexcom T7. And while you do that, why not subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications? That way you'll never miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.